representing our national officials for this match. First referee, Miss Joy, the Emos. Second referee, Mr. Mark Santos. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our navigators, Ilo Ilo. Let's begin with our team captain. He wears jersey number six, John Michael Apolinario. At number seven, JV Sumagaisai. Wearing jersey number 12, Francis Philip Saura. At number 13, Edward Camposano. Number 14, Abdurasad Nursidik. And number 18, Kent Sabando. Starting libero is number one, Rick Adal. Head coach, Mr. Rizalito, Coach Boyet Del Moro. Calling on our Maverick hard hitters. Team captain, wear jersey number 11, Razel Palisok. At number one, Jerome Michael Cordez. Wearing jersey number four, John Raymond Rabino. At number 12, Wilbert Sebrero. Number 13, Kim Tan. And number 16, Jethro Cabillan. Starting libero is number eight, Ricardo Alfaro. Head coach, Mr. Erickson Ramos. Season seven. Let's now check on the starters. Sabando, Sumagaisai, Apolinario, Saura, Nursidik, Camposano, and Adao. Para sa Iloilo. On the other side, they've got Palisok, Tan, Rabino, Cabilian, Cordes, Sebrero, and Alfaro. We begin the action here at the Inares Sports Arena once again. A pleasure to be working with Coach Ronnie Magsanok. It's been a while, Coach. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. <laughs> we had the Holy Week break and with the resumption of the Spiker Stir. And with the advent of a lot of uh, volleyball competitions, still perhaps we will be working together yes, sir. a lot more. But for now, the focus of attention, of course, is on these two teams. After we went on a Holy Week break, teams are eager to uh, just get back their winning ways, especially for those who are on a winning run. Serving to start the match for those the teams that are beyond 12. or below Wilbur the waterline. They just want to get one set and hopefully get a chance to get their first win. So well, quick one on first point here for the Navigators as they look to the maintain their immaculate slate. They'd like to be able to top these Team captain. Today's competition. Para right, makasambay right. sila dito sa mga league leaders. Yes, yan ang, yan ang uh, mantra nila for the day. Keep in step with the pace setters. As Sumagaysay, who scored 15 points heading to today's match, nails his first point of the contest. Palisok! That's great work there by the Libero. On the back row. Back row Camposano. That's two. Camposano. Yes, sir. It's two to nothing here. A former a HD spiker. For a, a former national player. Coming off a double digit Challenge. game. But a the foot fault is going to be challenged football. here by the hard hitters in that last pipe play delivered by Edward Camposano. Let's see. Kuntama yung nakita ng coaching staff. Nung kabila maaga palang, they want to be able to use that challenge because they want to be able to get their first point. Right. Sabi nga natin kanina, on the average, they have uh, just uh, accounted for 45 points in the last two matches. 41 and 51. So that's about 46 per match in terms of scoring. And that's not going to be enough. That's for sure. Unless best of three pinag-uusapan natin. <laughs> <laughs> Ang bigat ng mga nakalaban nila talaga eh. Yung mga teams na nasa tuktok. And that's clear as day. That's a, uh, that's a clear point coming from Edward Camposano. Wow. They're going to lose their first challenge there. Go to navigators in the Look like they were grasping for straws. <laughs> but in the end, maybe they just wanted to be able to stop the momentum being built here. Exactly. Yeah. 
That's great work there for their floor defense. Tough. Apolinario, not the best of sets. Opportunity here. Oh, nice. On the back. Coming from, and that comes from uh, Jerome Cordes, who I believe right now is the leading scorer for them. At 13 points in two matches. Their own version of the back row play. Cordes, likewise, coming off a 6 of 22 performance, scored six points in their last loss versus the Sea Lions. Two straight points here for the Black Shirts. An attack point coming from Cordes and a free point given up on that last attack error by the Navigators. Tan just sent it over there. Opportunity once again. Great floor defense so far being shown ng Mavericks. That's right. Probably one thing that really worked on during the last Holy Week break. Ang problema, walang gumagawa radya doon sa zone 6. And finding the floor once again, Iloilo. That was uh, Ken Sabando scoring. The first point para sa kanila. Sabando had 9 points last time that they played. Did not see action doon sa unang laban na kung saan nanalo rin sila. And that was a game that they played against the Philippine Air Force, winning in 4 sets as well. This time, yep. a little too high for Cabrillo. Four. And Kabilian out of sync in that last point of attack. Going for that shoot set. Too high for Kabilian. So the run so far is by twos. That point. Ball is out. Maganda sana attack eh. Just running out of space. And same point of attack. Same shoot set delivered by Sebrero for Kabilian. Cabillan zero out of two in his first two shots. Three point run here Service. for the Navigators. Na bagit mo kasi dalawa na sira tuloy. Bagging three. Bagit hindi. Sabi ng Maverick wag naman sana. Ang nagiging four na yun yung streak. Kaya nanganganak ng nanganganak. And you're talking about one of the top blocking teams right now. And as we pointed out, Francis Sora, the best blocker right now with ten kill blocks in two games. And then you have Aburas at Dorsidik. Was seven blocks also in two matches. That is a huge front line here for Ilu Ilu. But nakalusot naman don si Palisok. We talked about the need for Russell Palisok to be able to score more. One point sa unang nilang talo, six points sa kanilang pangalawang pagkakagabi. Now has scored two points. One point kasi si Cordes yung isang pumuntos kanina. The problem is, coach, they cannot trade two points for one point, or else, talaga siguro adun talo ka. Ito na. Ito na. Off the hand of Sabando. Dinala sa opposite. Maverick scores. And Palisok scored one earlier on the left wing. Now on the right, no problem. Getting multiple touches early on from Sebrero for another two-point run here for the hard hitters. We talked about him bringing the leadership, and he's showing it here early in the match. Dalawa pa rin ang lamang do ng Iloilo. is able to get to that. The touch. That would be a violation. Transition. Five to six. You have to score when you have the chance. Instead, they gave up another point. This will be three straight points here for the Black Shirts. Also their biggest scoring run. Down four, only behind by one. Boom! Rude Off the block point. Camposano. By Seven. Camposano. 35. 25 points scored so far. 23 heading to this game. Two points so far delivered. For the former Jesus. national player. For the Navigators are a 35.7% hitting team. Good for number five or number four in the competition. You'd like to, of course, improve that. Mas lalo kung kalaban nila yung mga... Kasama nilang league leaders. Totoo yan. Or, bago mo makalaban yung mga top teams, gusto mo talagang 
hasang hasa ka na. And I really thought that uh, looking at the art hitters, nakapagsanay sila ng maayos, nakapag-insay, nakapag-prepara in it as shown sa kanilang floor defense. And even with the way they have been attacking right now, but they give up a service error. First technical and timeout. We reach the first technical timeout with a two-point lead here for Ilo Ilo. this Piker Surf Open Conference. Nag-rest and relaxation man ang karamihan sa atin during the Holy Week break, but the Denavigators Ilo Ilo spent only two days resting. That is because they are not satisfied with their performance in their past two games. Dahil kahit nanalo sila, pansin na nila that they get complacent, lalo na kapag lumalamang, especially in the third set. Kaya naman, goal nila in their first game back is no drop set as they work on being the kind of team that is planting the seeds of attitude and discipline that is worthy of the Spikers third title. Gentlemen? Tama naman yung coach. Despite the fact that 2-0 ka, alam mo naman na it's still a long road ahead. At saka the barometer right now, of course, aside from the signal AC Spikers, are the crisscross King Crunchers. You know, the kind of level that they have, you know, the kind of players that they have brought in. Parating si Brian Bagunas at magpe-plane in si Mark Espejo. And you have to be at that level for you to be able to get to the mountain top, which is not going to be an easy thing to do. Ika nga, the entry of Chris Cross has changed the course of the landscape in the Spikers' turf. Things are going to get even more exciting and harder. That's true for all the teams. Second service error coming here from Maverick. Last time that they played, I believe the hard hitters committed a total of 21 errors. That's 21 of the 75 points given up to the Navy Sea Lions. And they only had 25 attack points. And that's why they only scored 51. With 19 of them coming from the Sea Lions. Errors. Plus one yes. for Maverick. Kaposano there with a service error of his own. Giving an extra point. Para dito sa Maverick. Gemma Cordes serving to the hard hitters. Good serve from Jerome. Chance para makapag transition. Back row attack. Ball they're gonna say it wasn't touched. Is there gonna be a challenge? Wala na silang challenge. Eleven. Unsuccessful yung challenge sila kanina on that early point that they were hoping to get or replay. Ouch. <laughs> Serving for the navigators. Nursidik has also been very productive playing under the radar. Lucky break there. There's still a chance. Tan will get through the blockers. Uh, Tan was the leading scorer in their first game, a game that they lost. Lost, rather. Trying to uh, regain his scoring ways. First point for Tan. That's Kim Tan. It was uh, 13 points scored also in uh, two matches, tied with uh, Jerome Cordes. Ooh, oh. What an Cross angle! Nandun si Alfaro, hindi lang talaga niya makuha. Right there on that cross-court delivery. Look at the power in this. Apolinari with the jump set. Oh, was that Sabando? And that thin frame belies the power within him. Team captain, Jim Apolinario, serving. Back up to three-point lead. Push is not going to work. Oh. And that is going to be an error A double on Sumagaysay. Sumagaysay. A 
Katamanzi, Apolinario, and si Francis Sora. Apolinario has also been key as to why Iluilo is 2-0 right now. The former Spikers turf rest center has combined well with Camposano, with Sumagaysay, with Sora, and the rest of the navigator so far. That's going to hit the net and Amando go outside. Lock touch. Three Maverick. in the match. 13 to 10. So far for Sabando. Balik na naman sa tatlong kanilang kalamangan dito. Kent Sabando. Nice smile. For the navigators. Why not? You're looking good so far here. Tight. Combination play not going to work, but Palisok and company will have another opportunity. Palisok once again. That's a great dig. But Sara, in the end, Mahogon ng Maverick yung puntos. 11 to 13. Sara was roofed. Kabiyan scoring that first offensive block here for the Black Shirts. And so far, Sara is just one out of four. Kay At the top Kaya. of the radar, so sa kanilang defensive uh, plans or game plan, itong si Francis Sara to contain him and to limit the 20-point scoring average. Bang! And that frees up Sumagay the middle hitter. And of course, 13, other pin hitters such as 11. Sabando and even Norsilic for that matter. And of course, Edward Camposano. Two in the match for JV Sumagay Sai. Definitely the more, the most the vocal leader of the Navigators who played as an import before abroad. Back to the pin! And Cortez delivers. Net touch committed by Francis Sora. It's nice to see Palisok and uh, Cortez really aggressive. And uh, Sebrero has done a credible job Palisok, making it difficult for one of the top blocking teams to be able Maverick. to defend his uh, points of attack. Leads cut down to two. Good reception. That attack is going to go Ball awry. Isa na lang, ang hinahabol ng Maverick. 14. Camposano scored at least two points, but Sara is only one of six. That's just 17% for one of the best hitters Service. that we have here heading to this game. Sara, before this match, 45%. At 20, at 30 out of 66, tremendous attack rate. Bawi na naman sila. Extending their lead back up to two. 15 to 30. So far, so good. Able to stay afloat against this first setup rising. Piston play by Apolinario for Camposano. One of two for Camposano in his last two shots. The second leading scorer for the Navigator so far. That is set to the wrong individual. Over set. Second That's going to bring out. us to our second technical timeout. Lamang na naman ang tatlo. Ang The Navigators, Iloilo. End of the second technical timeout. Serving for the Navigators, number 12, Francis. The postseason of the association is almost here. Watch the 2024 NBA playoffs starting April 20, only on NBA TV Philippines. One Sports and Pilipinas Live. Hashtag everyone's game. Hashtag right on NBA on death. signal. 14 almost to 16. Postseason. That is how quick. The year has gone here. Ang bilis nga, Coach. Bilis, oh. Pero mas mabilis yung palong yun. Converted na naman ng hard hitters. 
So kanina bumaba sa isa, sumampa uli sa tatlo, reaching the second technical timeout. JM Seven errors so far for the Navigators. Leading scorer, Palisok with three. Cordes with two so far for the Black Shirts. But it's important for Maverick to be able to stay in step, at least stay within striking distance, coach. Yes, kasi with the way Iluilo has been playing their last two games, kadalasan, yung unang dalawang sets, natatambakan nila yung mga kalaban or building early leads na mahirap habulin. Pero ito, hindi lumalampas ng, hindi umabot sa apat. O limang kalamangan with Sarov still being contained by Maverick hard hitters. From the back row. Sarah Very creative. With a well -placed One shot. of six prior to that last point. Only 17% for the number four scorer so far. Maverick, and they build their largest score. lead, which stands at eight, or uh, rather Maverick, at four here in set one. Ang bagal na ng bola, mas mabagal tayo. Uh, I-anticipate nyo yung bola na pupunta sa inyo, hindi natin mungulaan. Ha, magbasa kayo sa loob ng court. Wala nangyayaring grid. Ha? Hinihintay nyo lang bumagsak yung bola. Kasi mas madaling tumugol kayo pang bata. Dahan-dahan nyo lang natin. Pero ako tayo ayaw ng bata. Kapitan nyo, kapitan nyo. Kapitan nyo, kapitan nyo. Kailangan mong pupok sa depensa. Wala ka na akong bulag. Ha? Wala ka na akong bulag. Ha? Wala ka na akong bulag. Get seven-day premium access to NBA, PBA, UAP, and PVL, and of course the other leagues and exclusive shows when you download oh, Filipinas Live app. Register now one. for free. Still at the service zone, number 13, Edward Camposano. Is this the separation that Iloilo needs to be able to win this set handily? That's what they're looking for, coach. Ah! Cordes, Cordes gets denied. Turned back. First offensive block here. 19. For one of the top blocking teams, was that Nur Siddiq? That was Nur Siddiq. The Navigators are number two. Service. Second best blocking team. 30 blocks heading to this game behind the 39 of Chris Cross. Amazing. Bang! Regalo! That's separation. So, four straight points after the score was pegged at 16 14. It, At kakasabi ko lang nun na so importante for them yes. na talagang mapalapit lang sila. Ang Iloilo naman naka-adjust. Alaking bagay, nung mga oras na hindi pupunti si Francis Saura, e eh gumawa itong si Sabando, of course, itong si uh, Camposano, at si Nur Siddiq. Camposano with a serve. Decent reception. Cordes is going to score Cordes against a triple block. The hand of Conrado with a very good pass. Excellent reception leading to this play by Cordes. Cordes with three points. Malisok with three points. Or four points for Cordes. Leading scorer right now for the black shirts. That is sprayed high. No question about that one. Ball is out. 21. Way 15. out. Overshot the mark. Back to a six point lead. Substitution. Maverick. New playmaker here coming. Out. Five. New playmaker coming Galgana. in. In. In lieu of uh, Sebrero. Galgana. Looking Ashley to turn City. the tide around. Serving for the Navigators. Andrade was able to keep that one alive. And scoring from the back row is Palisok. Five for Palisok. 12 points total in three matches so far. Good start for Palisok. That's five of the first 16 points. Delivered by the most veteran player for the hard hitters. Who's played for the Sea Lions, IEM, Vanguard, among others, Alpha Omega Spikers. That was quick. Not quick. And so quickly so. is now a six-point lead once again. Tatlo na lang ang hinahanap ng Iloilo. Meron kang Saura, meron kang Camposano, meron kang Sabando, meron kang Nur Siddiq. And then this running play, the slide play. The money move coming from the former USD star, na si JB Sumagaysay. Back to the pin, Palisok. Slowed down there. Bump set is gonna work. Block. Sabando. Very good control so far. Five points for Sabando. 
Nice. And uh, the thumbprint ng Libero ng uh, Iloilo all over that last point for a six-point lead here for the Blue, seven-point lead for the Blue, for the Red Shirts. So, ibig sabihin, mali yung form natin. Uh, hindi pwedeng talon lang ng talon. Kailangan tinatimingan din yan, ha? Wala sa timing. Yung ilalim natin, wala na, wala pa sa taas. Paano tayo makakakuha ng puntos? Uh, kayo mag-adjust dyan, kayo naglalaro. Hindi pwedeng wala kayong ginagawang adjustment. Ha? Go, kapitan nyo. Dikita nyo pa, kaya pa yan. Awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch to now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch for more details. Balik sa action. Dalawa na lang ang kailangan dito ng Iloilo. Make that just one more. It's set point. And a second kill block. For the Navigators, the Navigators offense, set point. two notches Attach. higher, defense doubly better from 16-14. Reaching the second so technical timeout, it has been an 8-2 run generated by the Navigators. The Navigators get the first set, 25-16. to An exceptional start here for Iloilo as they try to stay in step with the leaders. They take control in the latter part of that first set and they win it quite handily with a score of 25 to 16. There is your first set scoreline, as expected. Iloilo taking that first set quite handily, 25-16. Balikan natin yung mga highlights, Coach Ronnie. Kanina, hindi naging madali para dito sa team ng Iloilo kasi kumapit, dumikit sila palisok at itong si Cortez. At tinangan nila yung kabuuan ng Maverick Heart Eaters. Subalit, kahit nadepensado si Francis Sara, who scored his first point at that last diagonal. Camposano was right there. Sabanda was also very effective. And then you have a sprinkle coming from Nur Siddiq and the effect, effective, effectivity of uh, JB Sumagay Sai na hindi matatawara. Plus six in terms of attack points, plus two in terms of offensive blocks. And you have to also point out the excellent level of play coming from Adawin Chumbinko. Manning the floor, making sure that the offense of uh, the hard hitters were contained. All in all, it was a better showing for the hard hitters, but not enough in terms of being able to stay close and send the first set into a close endgame. Eventually, a strong finishing kick led by Camposano and Nursidic and the emergence once again of Sora as a scoring option enabled them to come out with that uh, margin of victory in a comfortable win in this initial set. Kita naman natin talaga, just too much firepower itong the Navigators kumpara doon sa kapilang panig. Oh, oh, although may bala na, at least bumubuga na si Palisok at si Cortez. Not enough. You have to have at least three scorers for you to be able to make it difficult for the other team to defend you. And right now, for the Red Shirts of the Iluilo, one, two, three, four. They have five scorers in their fold. As we take a look and listen in to Tiffany Fondly. 
Sabi niya sa Spiker's Turf, yung tickets practically buy one, take one ah. First Sana marami manood kasi sobrang fun and intense captain, din ang mga laro. And six, that is rightly three, so. Ibang klase talaga yung aksyon dito na nakikita natin sa Spiker's Turf. And we thank all of you for joining us here. And another and set of good news, Brian Bagunas and Marcus Peo will also be playing for the Signal HD Spikers and the Criss Cross King Crunchers. And that's another big draw or two Sabine. big draws. In terms of uh, two of the biggest names, who have proven to be the first two Filipinos to be a part of a champion team on the international level. Halos magkasulod dyan, Bagunas and Espejo. Two straight points for the hard hitters to open up set two. So more of the stars are coming back to local shores, and that's a good sign. This is a good sign para sa Maverick off to a good start. Two to nothing. Ito naman yung sinasabi ng Iloilo is they have a tendency to relax in the second and third set. Sabi ni Doreen, sa third set nangyayari. Napaaga ba, Coach? Hindi naman. Maganda lang ang simula dito ng black shirts. When we talk about the resurrection, of course, of men's volleyball, BNL is coming around June. PNBF is on with its grassroots program. Then you have the Beach Pro Tool also coming in in a week. I think tomorrow, mag-uumpisa na sa New Valley in Santa Rosa. So, Punsan man pa kayong uh, parte ng Metro Manila, ng Niras Provinces, eh, sundan niyo po ang action sa men's volleyball. Kasama po, of course, ang women's volleyball. Sabanto might have to be replaced after that serve. It looked like Sub he tweaked his back. The Navigators, 18 out, 16, De Pedro. Oh, Let's see if we can check that action once again. De Pedro coming in for the first time. Masakit pa talaga, Coach, o dahil masama yung serve niya. Masakit. Masakit. <laughs> Masakit. Masaktan yan. Three points for the Navigators. Well, they're going to work on him on the bench. And let's see if Doreen can check on his situation. So far, what I have seen Francis. from Iluil is that Apolinario James, played majority of the sets Serene in their first the win. It was the Andante, meanwhile, fielded by Coach Del Moro. Doon sa kanilang pangalawang laro. Ngayon naman, si Apolinario muli ang kanyang ginagamit. Block and look at this. Maverick now Four. with the lead Two. once again. And they've extended it further. Something we haven't seen from the hard hitters in their first two losses. So, Kim malitaw na litaw. Mas maganda naman ang nilalaro nila at mas maayos ang kanilang pinapakita. Given time to prepare and also bridging the last Holy Week break. Ooh. Wow, Nursi Dick really lost control Goals of that out. one. Maverick scores five. To two. Down three. Out of control in that last Service. sequence. Here's Camposano. Easily handled there. Back to the pin and it is oh, now hit a four-point advantage para Six, sa Maverick. Wala pang timeout. Dito, galing sa Iloilo. Wala pa. Tignan natin kung hanggang kailan. That was uh, Rakaza who scored four points. Last time that they Three. lost, had one block as well. Powerful hitter, really. Relax pa rin si Coach Rizalito. Let's see for how long. Down the line. Well, it's going to work Saura. there anyhow. Good pass to Apolinario. Apolinario setting up Saura. Sara's third point of the contest, two points in set one. And uh, he has been the top gun. We talk about Francis rallying Sao. the navigators Serving during times the that they are on their heels. That goes out, plus one for the hard. Up to a four point lead here. Para sa Maverick. Team captain, Razzo Palisok. Serving. Palisok with the serve. Trying to build on their four-point advantage. Camposano sends it down Camposano. easily towards zone five. Four. And Dick with that misdirection opening up Camposano for that cross-court point once again. So Mama yung isang blocker. Camposano isolated Camposano. against a smaller Serving defender. For the no problem for Edward Camposano. Camposano with four points. He's got the serve. Oh, 
De Pedro. Either way, it was their point. Correct. It's not gonna go for De Pedro, though. <laughs> pero not on the ledger of De Pedro because of that mistake coming from the opponent. Service. But that lead has been whittled down to two. From a high of four. Both teams committing six errors in that first set win for Iluilo. Another good serve here for Camposano. Clean. Ball is out. Oh. Six. Serving seven. Will they contest? No challenge coming from the coaching staff. Instead, this will be three straight points here for the Red Shirts. Waking up before it gets too late. Service. Camposano. Maverick was hoping to be able to quickly get to that technical timeout, but they're having a real difficult time. Now they do. That's Off that miss serve. First second Galen K. Camposano. Eight, Maverick. Six. Just a two-point lead enjoyed by Maverick as we get to our first timeout. here in the Spiker Surf Open Conference. One person that Something really helped the Maverick Hard Maverick. Hitters in preparing Four for this game out. is former The Navigators Ilo Ilo team Came captain JM Cordes. This is actually James' first time na makakalaban ng Navi after having been with them since 2016. At kwento niya nga sa Navi niya na develop yung skills, yung attitude, even the dreams he has now as a volleyball player. And so for him, the goal for today is to show performance that the Navi can be proud of even on the other side of the court. Anthony Coach Ronnie? Well, that's important. You want to be able to be able to have that and winning attitude wherever you go, coach. Time. And in the course of a uh, professional Number career, seven, that's the way team. life goes. You go to a Second. team, you move from one team to the other, you do your best, and you Plus find a home. For the it happens to the best players, and it will happen to majority of the players in the landscape of the Spikers turf. Lead has been cut down to one. Naalala ko yung uh, conference na 26 yung mga kasaling teams. 26 or 24. Tayo nga, nahilo sa paglilipat ng mga <laughs> sarigo doon ng mga players. Diba? But all works well. Importante, you want to be able to make sure you have a team. We're tied you have a job. Eight. Because for some, it's a way of living already. After college. So from a 6-2 six six count. North this City. is a 6-2 counter here in the part of uh, the Navigators. Oops. Wait for the Mabuti whistle. na lang kasi service error sana yun. Binuena sila. But at the same time, hindi rin niya naituloy yung serve niya dahil na-realize niya wala pa yung pito. Eh. Now may pito. Tignan natin. North City. Extra concentration for Nursi Dick. He gets it in. And close to an ace. Casa of wow, Apolinario, Apolinario. Was, was right there, but definitely Maverick was at a disadvantage. The lead. And it showed. Bump set. Isolated. For the hard hitters. Magay Sai delivers. Slides to the right. That's a stare and down. The set at nine. He's also a uh, decorated player. We talk about uh, recognition as either first best middle blocker or second best middle blocker throughout his volleyball career. Team captain, Jim Apolinari. 
with the serve. That's kept alive. And scoring once again, Ilo Ilo. And lost in that point, Pakami from Asara was inti by ni Camposano as a uh, defensive specialist as well. We talked about his 13-point average, but what about his being in the top 10 in reception and in digs? And being a two-way player speaks a lot about your, your effort and your work ethics, really. Excellent dig. Ball still in play here. Another off the block point here and delivered gets by guard hitters to try to count at 10. At least three off the block points here for them here in set number two. Understanding that they're up against the second best blocking team. Serving for Maverick. Right now, they have to be a little bit disappointed though. Coach Dahil, ang ganda ng kanilang pagumpisa. And they've let their opponents right Kaka. back into it. And again, they trail by one. Yan ang kailangan nilang idopola. Kung paano mabantayan itong si Sumagaysay at the middle. Apolinar Apolinario has activated Sumagaysay multiple times. A slight play, quick plays, shoot set. I think it's missed only once or twice so far. And scoring. Ace here 12 will give Iloilo Ilo their biggest lead. Here in the second set at 2. Down 4 at 6-2. Now on top at 12-10. So since that time, it has been a 10-4 run here for Ilo Ilo. Anchored on JB Sumagaysay. 7 points. And De Pedro's contribution as well on offense. Camposano. Ten, oh. Tan and here hand, comes Tan Camposano. and company. 11 Coming right 12. back. Just now down by 1. Cortes and Paliso has been quiet, have been quiet here so far in set two. It's the trigger for Tan and the rest of the other pin hitters to be able to also help out on their offense. Solid hit, good effort there by Maverick to try to keep that one alive, but in the end, puntos pa rin para sa the navigators. And because Magaysay has been so effective, it has freed up Francis Saura, so it has. Baga eh na baliktad. Dante Saura para malibre si Sumagaysay. Ngayon Sumagaysay para na libre si Francis Saura. Over reception, and they're made to pay the price. From a 6-2 count. Now, after being on top by four, they are behind by three. Big seven-point swing here. Maverick, in favor of the Navigators. At nauna pa mag timeout ang Maverick. Navigators. Okay, okay, okay. 14-11 is our tally here. This was not the way this set started, really. It was a 6-2 scoreline in favor of the hard hitters. 8-6, reaching the first technical timeout. And since that time, 8 points delivered by Ilo Ilo. And only three accounted for by Kim Tan and the rest of the hard hitters. Seven point match for the third leading scorer so far, JB Sumagay Sai. That's still alive. Double touch. North City. To a reaction of Francis Sao. 12 to 14. Still good effort on the part of North Sidik. Yung block was counted already as one touch. For Maverick. And that's why the point will go to Maverick as they still trail by two. Kim Tan who scored one point in set one, four points in set two. Carrying the cudgels offensively for the Maverick hard hitters here in this particular set. Back to the right pin. Opportunity now for Maverick to get even closer. 
But that one is sprayed long. Ball is out. Parang na fake ni Campusano, eh, no? So two good defensive plays coming from Campusano. First the up, and then Ada with the save, and then on the return play, faking the block, forcing the hitter to overshoot the mark. Back to a three-point lead here for Iluilo. Francis Sal serving for the Navigators. Get the long transition is Sara from a middle blocker to a an opposite hitter. Alam mo talented ka pag kahit sa kailagi ni coach pwede. Yung iba kasi nahihirapan kasi, di ba? Hindi ka komportable. Tama. Saka iba yung timing eh. Yung approach. When you see uh, the younger players right down in terms of height, in terms of power, then you have to be versatile enough and embrace the role given you. Of which he has done well. 20 points per game, 5 blocks per contest. Nako po. 3 points given up. Second technical timeout, 16. That's going to bring us here to our second technical 13. timeout. It's a three point lead this time. Lamang ang ilo ilo. End of the second technical timeout. Substitution. Arena Plus, Astig Sports. 12 out, one, Cordes. Back to the action here. Some out, substitutions. Galgana, Galgana at Cordes. Papasok. Para dito sa Maverick. Secondary setter once again coming in. Sebrero was doing well in the first part of the second set. Until suddenly, Apolinario once again. Weaving his magic and making sure in that they stay close and now are able Maverick. to overtake what was once a four-point deficit. Now building a three-point lead Edward as we reach the second tactical Surrey. timeout. Excellent save by Sara. Back set. Attack slow down. Smart. Camposano sa magay sa ayah big key. Seventeen. Dito sa rally ng red shirt. Saura has been able to find the scoring ways, but sa magay sa in Camposano have been the game changers for Iluilo or now ahead once again by four. I'm out. Gulang maglaro. Maverick hard hitters. Maverick's gonna call their second time out here. Seventeen. The navigators. Hindi na bumulak eh. Wala kang gagawin na atake ka agad. Kumuha ka muna ng drop goal. Hindi pwedeng atake lang gagawin natin. Atras ka na ng fitness. Ha? Sayang, sayang ha. Sayang. Huwag yung panilapan yung kasama nyo. Kung kaya natin kunin, akuin na natin. Ha? O kapitan nyo, apat lang yan. Apat lang yan para. Isa-isa yung natin para huwag natin bigyan. Okay, okay yun. Okay yun. Nakipag-rally tayo. Pero huwag natin sila bibigyan ng madaling puntos. Oo. Nagayin natin. Pro! Let's go great! Go! RPTV na ang official at exclusive channel ng Pambansang Liga ng Bayan. On free to air, sabay natin subaybayan ang PBA Season 48 Philippine Cup. All games live dito sa RPTV para sa Pinoy. Ward Camposano. Camposano! Sends that one to Matsufos. Ginanaan siya doon sa kanyang drop ball. Importante lamang pa rin. And they got a comfortable Orbison. lead after being down by four. Ang hirap kasi na ikaw yung nagahabol up to this point of uh, the set, no? Side out, side out. Ang hirap habulin. Oh. Another one? Another error here for the hard hitters. 
Two free points given up. Rotational fall. Wow, rotational fall. Oh, that oh, shouldn't man. be happening at this level. Pangalawa na yan. Especially twice seven. in the same set. Kasi nakailang sub na sila, eh, di ba? Tapos galing sa timeout. But, you can ask. That's true. At you can release. always ask. Clarify. Now they're asking. Ang yes. problema, nakapagbigay ka na naman ng libreng puntos. Nakatulan na eh. At sa hirap maghabol, lalong-lalo against a very strong team. Those are precious points that you give up for free. So now, sigurado na sila dun sa kanilang Answer. posisyon. Ang problema, Goes to the navigators. biglang lumaki na naman. Ang kanilang hinahabol, apat na naman. They've given up nine unforced that's errors and that's 50% of the total All output the of uh, Iloilo. Nice. Down that's what the they line. need to be able to come back. There was that good Three. rejection. It's a first point of attack, but on the next one, that's down the line for their 15 point. And they give up another three points. Error number 10. Over 50% of the total production for Iluilo have come from the hard hitters. Team captain, Meanwhile, Jimmy Iluilo, Lapolina. six Serving errors. For Iluilo. Wow, Wallace. He what scores a serve. 20 to 15. Did you see that? And you can see, all of a sudden, dumbfounded itong grupo ng Maverick. Tignan mo kung saan nag-serve. Tignan mo kung saan dumating. Service, Apolina. That went in between two players, and both of them are still staring at each other. They get the, the point block. back on that off Time. the block point. 16 to 20. Zone 1 to zone 1. For huh? Apolinari earlier. Two points, 11 excellent sets for the one time. Gemma Cordes. Spiker Sturf, best Sorry. setter awardee. De Pedro, De Pedro delivers. You have to appreciate the effort of De Pedro, really. Klimako. Nasaktan lang si Sabanto kanina, and he was stopped. To come in, and when he came in, it changed the course of that uh, of the set. Para sa Iluilo. Already with one ace, close to getting another one there. Tight. Camposano almost scored. A beat in. Nice stretch. By Chumbinko and De Pedro. That one Depedro. falling short. 17 to 21. It's right. Substitution. Andrado Babalek. Seven. Looking for win number three. Substitution denied. Iluilo the Navigator. Samantala, ang Maverick Hard Hitters who have scored. 51 points and 41 points in their first two losses, looking for at least their first set na makukuha in three matches. So, coach, that substitution was denied there. Sobra na. And a yellow card will be issued to, to the side the of the Maverick. So, things going from Service. bad to worse Service. para sa hard hitters. Janus Klimako. Pero laban lang. Wow, that went over with the head of Sumagay Sai. And they're going to win the point. Offense does not work. You always can rely <laughs> on your blocking abilities. And then we talk about blocking. 20 blocks heading to this game. Make that 30 blocks heading to this game. 15 blocks per match. Dan gets denied. Dan back to back. Denied by the triple Down by four at 6 2. Since that time, 21 against 11. Plus 10. That's why it's a 6.8 for them Service. at this stage Service. of our second set.
galing na dumipensa ni Camposano. And that's gonna get Saura. Camposano Off and his squad to set points. Now at set point. He at plays match. defense. Sara delivers his normal potent offense. Deadly combination. Seven point lead. Seven Service. set points for a two Sumabay set advantage. Saish. They save one. Bonus and that service point. error. Error number for seven Maverick. for the red shirts. But for the red shirts, that's an error that they can actually afford at this stage. Hindi madali yung hinabol nila kasi ang ganda lang simula nitong heart eaters talaga. Kim Tan, serving. Puntos ng puntos ng sunod-sunod. Atya magtatapos ang ating second set. Almost a similar scoreline. But here, as Coach Ronnie has been alluding to, it was a little bit more of a struggle para sa The Navigators. Lamang ang kalaban na apat na habol nila. And in the end, they now lead two sets to none. Let's take a look at the second set highlights. Back to back. Oh yes. Dominating sets. Ang pinangita sa atin. Well, in the first part, a lot of the highlights went in favor of uh, Dart Eaters. Who are still ahead after the first eight points, leading at six-two. Until uh, suddenly there was a turnaround. It was uh, Sumagaysay and uh, Camposano who did damage, and Sora, as I mentioned, suddenly is the leading scorer right now with eight points. And this comes after just being held to just two points in that first set win. And then you have the defense as well of Adao Chumpinko, Campusano, and the rest of the Navigators. And that erased a four-point deficit, installed a four-point lead, which they held on to, and increased it as the, went, as the set went deeper. At kung titignan natin, plus one lang sa attack points. Eh. Pero ang hindi nakikita dyan, yung quality ng net defense ng Iluilo. Two blocks lang ang nakaregister. But what about the shots that they slowed down and shots that they changed? And as a result, attack errors ng anak para sa hard hitters. And eventually, four set lead was uh, erased and lost by seven. So that was an 11-point swing imposed by the Navigators who are only one set away from winning their third straight match and dealing the Heart Eaters so their third straight loss. Para sa Iloilo, they want the this match because they want to stay in step with the league leaders. A little bit later on, Philippine Air Force up against Signal looking to be able to take solo leadership with a victory over the Airmen. And that's what you want, to be a step ahead of the opposition. Eight games per team out of the nine total teams that have joined this conference. So, if you do our math well, eh, manalong signal mamaya, halfway there na sila. And you want to be at least among the first two teams to get to the semis at once, if you can. Now, wisely... Itong grupo ng Maverick For sure. checking the their 12, the rotation Robert before they start. Tinanong na nila, di ba? Panigurado, bago tayo mag-upisa. New setter here for Iloilo, Inferrer. 
that's kept alive. And now there's going to be an early challenge. Maverick for a floor touch. Well, they've got to hope that they win this challenge. Because <laughs> they challenged yeah. early also in that first set, which they lost. And they did not challenge in the second set. Kung di ako nagkakamali. Tama ka. First point will be challenged right away. Well, I guess as far as Maverick is concerned, they need to be able to make sure they get a good start here. And a good finish also. Correct. Or something that they were able to do well during the previous set. A good start. Here we go. That's a pancake. And they will lose their second challenge of the afternoon. There was no floor touch and the challenge is unsuccessful. Point goes to Excellent the defensive Navigators. play coming from Sumagaysay. That's about a 6-4 player diving. They and trying to get one. that ball up and in play. And That's because of that early challenge, hindi pa naman tapos yung puntos, they automatically yield the point. Correct. Should set big push from second play by Sabrero. One all. We're tied at one apiece. That was a point delivered by uh, Jay Seketin, who did not see action for them. Tama ba yun Seketin or number 23 Rikaza? Rakaza. Rakaza was the one. Rakaza. Wow. Off the block. That has just Sour. so much power behind two. it. Because of the superior one. confidence as well. Two points in set one, six points in set two. Leading scorer right now once again for the 20-point per game attacker. That's si Francis Sora in the top ten in attack percentage. Number two in blocks. Oh, tight. So far, Sumagaysay. nobody has been able to Three, mark the shadow JB Sumagaysay at that position. They had a slow start in set two. They had to rally to overcome a four-point deficit. Now it's a two-point lead. What a big third set start here. Ooh. That one is going to be sent out. Down three. Ball is out. Four-one lead. Iluilo. Ito na. I guess from their coaching, coaching standpoint, eh, importante na magandang upisa dahil pinag-usapan natin kanina with Doreen, the fact that they start to taper off in terms of their aggressiveness. Well, they have brought in two new players here in the set, Ferrer and Engay, talking about Iluilo. That's Engay. And Ferrer was able, a oh, Ferrer rather, to Tama, get that Engay one. Combination play is not going to work. Rakaza denied. Five blocks per contest for Saura. Now with 10 points, first player in double figures for either of these two teams. Four point lead right away for Iluilo after the first six points. One-on-one, -on heart-to-heart conversations with Mark Pingris and Gilas Legends tackling their life stories on and off the court. Puso to Puso exclusive on Filipinas Live app. Download and register now for free. Back to volleyball action here this afternoon. Rakaza. A little bit stronger that time, but still slowed down. And transition here for Saura and company. Service. 
he was never down in himself after a two-point performance and a 17% hitting rate for Francis Sora in set one. Suddenly, he has 11 points. Wow. Grab it. He's slowly getting to his average of 20.5. That last point was delivered, however, by Edward Camposano, who now has six points and has played so well and so hard on the defensive end. Six point lead, Ilo Ilo, set three. Si Camposano ngayon nagdala in the first two sets practically. Here's Rakaza. Still alive. Hiningi yeah. talaga ni Sobagay Sanya. Sai, with a quick hit. I'd just like to point out that first Ferrer's efficient Eight. serving has really made it difficult One. para sa hard to go with their offensive sequence. And now it's a 7.8 for his technical timeout. Set number three. End of the first technical timeout. At the service zone for the navigators, number three. Back Lens here in Inga. the Spiker Surf Open Conference. Anthony Cotrani na pag-usapan ninyo kanina si Francis Saura and his transition from being a middle blocker to an opposite hitter. At nakwento nga ni Francis, mas na-injury niya na ngayon maging opposite hitter as this role challenges him to be more creative with his attacks. Mas madami daw siyang nasusubukan gawin. And so he's treating this as a new chapter in his volleyball career that will allow him to play the sport he loves at a higher level. Meanwhile, according to Coach Boyet, Ken Sabando will be setting this set out. May pumitik daw sa likod niya kanina and it's too painful to play through for now. Anthony Coach Ronnie. Well, we wish him all the best, and maganda naman yung mindset na ginagawa ni Francis and a coach. You yes, know, when you're yes. when you're put in a certain position that you're not used to, just embrace it. And for the longest time, Ferrer stayed at the service for line. Yes, tama yung uh, pinunto mo at ay ngaron sa ulat ni Dorin kanina. Tanggap na niya at higit sa lahat magaling siya. Ginagalingan talaga niya ng gusto. Ito si uh, Sabado na nasaktan kanina. Yes, so, Tomata is not here. De Pedro was very effective earlier. Free boleto, ah. Good save by Ferrer. Ferrer has done so well. Keeping those balls alive. But that time, Miss hits it. Francis, okay? Ball is out. Point and serve. Go to man. Double effort coming from Saura. Engay, Ferrer, late entry, no problem. So from 8-1 count, 2-1 run here, a mini run generated by the Black Shirts. That'll be out. That's the first miss for Sora since set one. As the ball clipped the net and went out. Tao rin. Tao talaga. <laughs> 3-1 run here for the hard hitters waking up, fighting back after the timeout was called earlier at uh, sa pagdating ng first tactical timeout. Yun lang. Nabuhayin ulit. Straight to zone 5. Camposano now with 7. You hear the sound. Oh, with 9. Oh, 8? 8 points for Camposano. You hear the sound of that uh, ball contact at alam mo na mahirap talagang maibalik pa. Going down the line. Rado hits Finally, Onrado is able to score. Five, Has been attacking relentlessly, putting pressure on the defense of the Navigators who have been on point. 
returning his points of attack. Yes, Tomato is not here today dahil uh, feeling under the weather. Ball but then Rado scored for the on an attack point but gives up a free point on that service error for another six point deficit para sa kanila here in set three. There are the numbers of Saura. Bonus point for Maverick. Signal is waiting in the wings. Philipp Philippine Air Force as well. Gemma Cordes. Na bumata na, no? Laki ng binata ng uh, airmen. Ball is in. Yan naman ang importante Santos para sa kanila. They need to be able to strengthen Six. their core. Well, you have to keep up with the times, and a lot of teams have already beefed up their roster with their lineups, and they've gone young blood. And the uh, difficult decisions will have to be made, but in the course of the competition, being at a high level, with Signal and Chris Cross as the barometer, they can't be hindi to leave talagang iiwanan kanila. Those are teams that have a lot of national players with the uh, championship experience and multiple championships in the Spikers turf in the last few years. Good dunk, to play. first point, Sebrero. Point number seven, third set. Seven They're still trading by six though. They're gonna need a whole lot more of that. They don't wanna fall to a win three, but they're gonna be hard pressed here this afternoon. Pag tinig naman yung team standings, may separation na eh. Tama. May great divide na tinatawag na. Tan delivers again. That's his special ability of the block point. All sets. 23 attack points for the hard hitters. 39 for Iluilo. Plus 4 sa blocks ang Iluilo at 6 against 2. 4 aces for the navigators. None for the hard hitters. Plus two errors on Maverick with 19, 17 for Iluilo as Ferrer was played well here. Pawi naman siya. Oo. Sa so, maganda nila laro talaga niya. Sila ni Engay. Ano? Bibo. Ayos ang activity. Six point lead. Iluilo. Two set advantage still remains. Nice. On a broken play, the they block. still score. Engai. That was Engai. Going high hands that time. Engai creating noise. What about Sumagay Sai with that bump set for Engai? Pito na naman ang kanilang lamang. Santos. Replicating an 8 1 lead earlier to open up set number 3. Good high. This time and rejected denied. by Sumagay Sai. Sai. Seven blocks for the team averaging close to 10 blocks per contest. Following this match at 6 p.m., we will have the Air Force. Airmen facing the signal HD Spikers. That's Philippine Air Force versus the signal HD Spikers. Following this match. For the navigators, number 15, Justine Santos. Iluila right now has doubled up on the competition. Exactly. Re establishing their biggest lead, which stands at eight right now. Astan Tan scores off some against after Santos. being blocked earlier. Nine. Point number nine registered by Kim Tan. Nearing the 10 point mark is Kim Tan. So I guess coaching, ginawa ng coaching staff. Nitong kupanan ng 
as we take a look first again up next it's signal up against philippine air force that's brian bagunas who emerges as the number one scorer by the way the and line. he's here yeah. at the venue in flesh hindi lang natin alam kung makakalaro siya because normally Yes, you can dress up, pero baka hindi ka pa gamitin ng coach mo. Okay, magandang panuorin. I will stay on. That will be nice to watch. Seeing him here in local shores after quite a while. Tight. Too many weapons. Camposano has played excellent as well. And perhaps at the end of this game, they will have at least three players in double figures, maybe even four. That's Saura, Sumagay Sai Camposano, and of course. Wala ako lang ibita sa inyo na intensity yung gusto nyo manalo. Wala yung galaw nyo palamyalam yah. Di tayo mananalo ng ganyan. Parang iniinta nyo na lang matapos yung game. Edi wag na tayo magpractice sa susunod kung ganyan lang ipapakita nyo. Ayon ganon na sabi ko na lang. O sige na tapos nyo na lang. Coach Erickson visibly disappointed with the lack of desire being shown by his squad. Because of the quality of performance that they showed in set two. They were almost right there until it slipped away from their hands. Inangat ng laro ng Iloilo. Pero itong third set, chance sa sana. Dahil nagpalit ng tao eh. Ilan ang nilabas dyan? Wala na si Apolinario. Hindi nakabalik si Sabando. Di Pedro was so effective in set 3. Nilabas din si Dorsitik. Wala na rin. So dapat ngayon, mas lumalaban sila. Kung tutusin mo. Correct. Oo. Nice to see Cordes back. 11 to 18. They made a lot of noise together with uh, Palisok in the first set. But they're still down here by seven. Service. And their opponent seven points away from getting their third victory here in this conference. Chance for the black shirts. Tough. Cortez gets denied Cortez though. Denied. Was that Sumagaysay once again? Yes, it was. If it's JB, that will be four, four blocks already for Sumagaysay. And that's why they are a tough team to beat. Fifteen blocks per game, my goodness. Miss it. That you heard wide. it. Twelve. And Saura there apologizes to his teammates. That should have been a one point. May halong gigil sigurado yun. Gigil na gigil talaga kasi libreng libre. Wide open talaga. Bang! Bang! Bang and bang for JB Sumagaysay. So Magaysay, last time that they played had seven points. So Magaysay, so far, scoring output. Number 13 scoring with 16 total points heading to this match. 4th leading scorer behind the 18 points of Nur Siddiq was averaging 9 points per game. Plus one for the hard hitters. So far, confidence best 11 points for So Magaysay. 8 attack points, 3 kill blocks. Samantala, Sora, 8 attack points, 4 kill blocks. Camposano, 10 points, 6 receptions, 3 digs. Those are the killer triumvirate for Iluilo. Good effort here, but Cordes gets Cordes. roofed once again. Turn back. That was Santos and Saura. To 13. S squared. Tama. Uh, shutting down Francis all Saura. angles. Serving. And uh, re-establishing another eight-point lead here late in set number three. Oh. 
Palisok goes down the line. Through the block. Palisok. Not this time. 14 to 21. It's been quite a while since we've heard from Palisok. Gemma Cordes serving for the hard hitters. Good serve. Still enough Santos for Santos to be able to, to score. Too tall, really. But again, the net defense talaga rito ng hard hitters. Talagang kulang na kulang para sa kanila. And they have been uh, pushed many times over by their head coach to let's keep playing hard, keep doing their best. That will not get over. For Cabillan. Two points away from this sweep. The first 14. ever para sa navigators kung sakaling makuha nila. Winning in four sets in their first Service. two matches. Too long. Plus one for Maverick. After that tight second set, I really was surprised na biglang umalagwa rito sa set na ito ang Iluhilo. Nang mabilis. Jeffro Cabellian, serving. They found a big hole in the middle there. That's going to bring us here to set point slash match point. Perfect placement coming from Francis Saura. Once again, dominant offense and uh, too many weapons for Iluilo. Nine match points for the Red Shirts for their third straight win. Staying alive as Palisok has another point here. Palisok, as you mentioned, nearing the 10 point mark. But not enough. Captain, as Cordes Razzo has been limited Palisoc. to just four points today. And Cordes is the leading scorer para sa kanila. Sa first set, maganda yung pinakita ni Palisok. And then he slowed down. Pareho sila. Si Kim Tan yung bumuhay, but not enough. Kim Tan, they say. It's a ball touch. Called on Ferrer. Got a check. Maverick scores 17. Staying alive. It's the mantra here in the set Service. for the hard hitters. Palisoc. The question is, for how long can they do that? Delaying the inevitable, so to speak. <laughs> Tama ka. It's not impossible, but it's very unlikely. You were saying. Achana Aura ends the set and the match. 25. Unbelievable resurgence coming from Fra Francis Saura, really. Two points in set one, six points in set two. And the final point here in set three for another eight-point margin and a three-set sweep of uh, the Maverick Hard Hitters. Congratulations. We'll be back to wrap things up in a bit. Don't go away. For taking this match in straight sets. Air Force versus the Signal HD Spikers. Join us. So far, so good here for the Navigators. Winning the first set by nine, second set by seven, and a come from behind win. And the third set comfortable, to say the very least, with another eight point margin of victory. Seamless performance, challenge in the second set, but all in all, it was one sided really, especially in the final set.
So he literally takes their third straight victory as we send it over to Doreen. Thank you, Anthony, Coach Ronnie. I'm here with our best player of the game, JV Samagaysay. JV, congratulations sa panalo. Kanina before the game, nakwenta sa akin ni Coach Mike na yung sakit daw talaga ng Navi ay pagdating ng third set, nagiging mong play set. Yun yung nangyari in the first two games. Pero dito, natapos nyo in just three sets. Ano yung ginawa nyo differently? Paano yung pag-uusap nyo para hindi na ulit maulit yun? Siguro sa amin, ano, pin uh, pinalis lang namin yung sistema na ina-apply namin sa team. Pero yung kunin namin, yun yung goal namin eh. Manalo kami ng straight set ngayon. Wala nang iba. Yun lang. Pero JV, you've been doing so well for Navi. Ito yung first mong conference sa Spikers Turf. Ito sa bago mong team. But you are already performing at a high level. What has been fueling that performance? At ano meron sa Navi that allows you to play at such a high level? Siguro kung merong sa Navi, ano, uh, nag-start yun sa sarili ko. Kasi bago ako sa team, so... Para sa akin, as a former national team member, parang meron akong kailangan na i-contribute sa team and maka-inspire, makatulong sa mga batang player ng Navi. Yun talaga yung para sa akin. And ayun, binabati ko yung family ko. Uh, sumagay sa'yo family, uh, Ranyola family, Omus family, Bagagunya family. Ayun, uh, yung mama ko, lola ko. Yan, ingat kayo. See you later. Thank you and congratulations, JB. Excited kami makita where the wind will take the Denavigators Ilo Ilo next. But for now, we send it over to you, Anthony Cotrani. Thanks, Doreen. As we take a look at the highlights of the third set, which again was dominated from start to finish this time by Ilo Ilo. Even with a different set of players, and even if key starters were given a breather to open up the third set, the result was the same. And this time, surprisingly, it was the easiest set to have won by Iluilo. Ferrer did so well from the service line. Engay was efficient. Santos did a share. But of course, the backbone, Francis Sora, the workhorse, Edward Camposano. And the man in the middle, JV Sumagaysay, made sure that it was a three-set three set win. That's sabi ni JV, hindi lang manalo, hindi manalo in three straight sets. And it paid off for them. Dominant performance and the numbers will show that once again, the net defense was superior and too much power with their offense and with them likewise playing tough on the defensive end. It was too much for the Maverick Heart Eaters to overcome. Coming up next, two squads already warming up. Stick around for that. It's Philippine Air Force up against Signal. That's going to do it here for our coverage of game number one. In behalf of my partner, Coach Ronnie Magsanok, Anthony Stai saying thanks for joining us, everybody. Till next time, take care. Have a good afternoon and evening ahead. God bless.